Hi, this is Lance at Acroname. In today's video, we'll share our initial experience with Lightwear's latest LiDAR distance sensors, the very small and high-performance LW20 and SF20 models. Even the boxes and packaging of these sensors are very small. See the LW20 and SF20 sensors on the right. When you open the box, you'll see all the cables that you need to connect the sensor directly to your system. You can see that the size difference is substantial between these sensors. We also check the weight of each sensor and see that the SF20 and the LW20 are very lightweight sensors. The SF20 does not utilize a full enclosure. And so you can see some of the circuit board of the SF20 is exposed. Because of this, if you have any environmental considerations in your application, we recommend using the LW20, which has a full enclosure. As you can see, the SF20 has a small white header connector, which allows access to either a serial interface or the I2C interface. The SF20 comes with both cables, so you can use either interface as you wish. Since LW20 is in an IP67 rated enclosure, there is no connector on the sensor, but rather a pigtail wire connector. This is because any openings to an IP67 enclosure could compromise the robustness of the device. Because of that, two different models of LW20 are available. One version with an I2C interface and another version with a serial interface. Acronym recommends that you Take care in ordering your LW20 to make sure that you order the model with the interface that you need. If you do wish to connect the LW20 to a host computer for testing, then you'll need a USB to serial or USB to I2C adapter. Acronym has some recommended adapters on our website. You can also find some in the Lightwear LW20 product manual. There is also a plastic mounting bracket available for LW20 which can be ordered separately. To see the LW20 serial model in action, first download the Lightwear terminal software and the Lightwear product manual from the LW20 product page. Install the Lightwear terminal software into your machine. Once that's installed, we we'll use the Setup tab to make sure that we set the correct baud rate settings for our USB to serial adapter. Then we'll go into the LW20 settings and make sure that those baud rate settings match what we put for the adapter. Now go back to the terminal, press the connect button and the escape key on your keyboard and you'll start to see streaming distance data from the sensor. We'll sweep the sensor counterclockwise from objects that are close by on the desk to the wall, to the window, and you can detect objects beyond the window glass and then back to the wall on the left side. You can see the first and last pulse return data which give an indication of where the solid surfaces are as well as the glass door and objects beyond. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions about your application or how to use the LW20 or SF20 or any other lightwear distance sensors and how those could fit what you need, please contact us at sales at acronym.com or support at acronym.com. Thanks again. Have a great day.